In this second part of Christiane and Alan's trip to Dakar, Senegal, we battle through Dakar's traffic to meet with security companies, banks, and potential project partners, stopping briefly to do some karate before visiting our new office outside of Dakar and then on to the Sally Beach Resort Village for some team building discussions over a beer. Christiana, what's happening? Um, well, we just went to the security company to uh, talk about security on site. And everything here works very well if you're well connected. When you know people, it goes very fast and it goes well. And that's the most important thing, it's the relationship. We're about to go for our first uh, karate lesson. To learn the what kick? The uh, crane. The crane. <laughs> and this is the Yukakai Karate Club in Kondakar, Dakar. And there's Bekai. Bekai! Bonjour! Sensei, pardon. Pa Bekai, Sensei. <laughs> Comment tu sens pour être le plus badass dans Off Europe? Ça ça bien. Ça ça bien. The Yukokai Karate Club was started by my father-in-law, Fernand Nunez, in 1971. The building has since been sold, but the Yukokai Karate Club continues with our Bekai running the evening karate classes. Our new office is near Sangal Kam, which is 30 kilometers east of Dakar. The last 10 years have seen massive change as Senegal is one of the fastest growing economies in Africa, with 5 to 6% annual growth pre COVID. With a new motorway connecting the congested Dakar to the new airport further east and a government office zone at Djemna Djo running close by, this area has seen an explosion of recent development. The site offers ample office and yard storage space, which is perfect for our plans. But we have to measure everything. We yes. have to measure everything. Because in this case, we have everything here in this case. So we just arrived from Sangha campsite and uh, walking around and checking where the gate goes um, and how it's going to be all done so we can store all the uh, containers here as a well. And that's the building from the back side. I really hope they don't fall down right now. Will we catch it on camera? With no more external meetings on our last day in Senegal, we head to the beach resort of Sally, which is a short drive to the airport that we need to get to for our 3 a.m. flight back to Europe. We're gonna have a team meeting. Okay. A sea level team meeting yes. to discuss all the things that happened over the last 
five days. It is incredibly hot right now. We are dying. We are absolutely dying. Here we are pouring water down our backs. And cracks. <laughs> <laughs> take passport photos in order to get our bank account and in order to get our uh, company registration exporter card so we found a guy here to do this and this is how it looks So he was just called from uh, the local town in order to sort this out uh, for us and he will come back with passport pictures. Love it! Okay, it's 1.30 in the morning, Alan and me Hello. made it to the airport. I think Alan by now is a little bit delirious. Yeah. All he says is, yeah, and goes into semi-sleep. We are deadly tired <laughs> after one week of really good I don't even know what to say. Yeah, we had one week of really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. The next episode, you can find out more about our metal workshop operations for our Sunhat PV mounting system and internal structures inside our solar containers. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for further off-grid Europe developments.